Chapter 56 Malini She waited until she was sure he would not survive. His grip on her head had fallen lax. He lay face down in his own bile and sickness, his breathing no more than a wheeze wet with his own blood. She stared at the opposite wall, stained with a little wine. She felt curiously empty, hollow and light as air. The feeling would come for her later, she knew, like the tide ever returned to the shore. She stood and left the room. There were guards at the end of the corridor. She'd commanded them to keep their distance, so that she could speak to Chandra privately. He's resting, she said now. See that he isn't disturbed. Empress, the soldier acknowledged bowing. She walked away. She went to the women's quarters of the mahal. Lata was waiting for her, expression tense and intent. I am glad you're here, Lata said, which was as close to asking Malini where she had been as Lata would allow herself the, in the presence of strangers. Malini had no interest in answering that unsaid question. Chandra's wife, she said instead. Do you have her? It was lucky, Lata said without inflection, that Queen Varsha's maids brought her directly to me. If she had been found by the wrong soldiers... Show me to her, said Malini. Queen Varsha, the high prince's daughter, a thin, big-eyed thing with wild clouds of hair, oiled back into a curling braid, was huddled at the edge of the room with two women who clearly served her. They were all weeping. She looked up, and when she saw Malini, she flinched. Malini felt suddenly nauseated. She removed her saber and laid it aside, entered the room. Please! Varsha fell to her knees, dragging the two women down with her. She was crying. Great, big, miserable tears streamed down her face. I have done no wrong, Empress. I am a loyal daughter. I obeyed my father and wed as I was bid. Is that a crime? Do you think I will harm you? Malini asked. This caused another bout of weeping. Please do not, Varsha begged. Please spare me. I have done you a great kindness, said Malini. I doubt my brother was worthy or a useful husband. No, Empress, she said tearily. He was not a good husband at all. Noise from beyond the doors. Malini turned at the noise. Lata drew them open and two soldiers strode in. One was shaking visibly, his face damp with sweat. Empress, he said, the Emperor. Your brother, he... He drank poison, the other guard said. He must have hidden it upon his person. Empress, we offer our most sincere apologies. Any punishment we must face, we will face. He prostrated himself on the floor. The other soldier followed suit. He... He is dead. Behind her, Varsha abruptly stopped crying. Dead, Malini repeated. She stared at the soldiers. Dead. The world ran through her like the wail of a conch. Are you certain of this? Yes, Empress. By his own hand. There was a vial in his room and wine. Empress, please, please show us mercy. You are not responsible for this. Calm yourselves, Malini said. Summon a physician to confirm it. Call upon a priest also. Can you be trusted to do this? Yes, Empress, one said hurriedly, then the other. Then get up off the floor, she commanded, and go. They scrambled to their feet, left as quickly as they had come. There were hushed noises behind Malini, gasps of shocked breath. She placed a hand over her eyes and felt her whole body begin to tremble, overcome. Finally, relief struck her, vast and strong. He was dead. He was dead. He was dead. Part of her had believed that she had imagined it, dreamt it, even though she had been the one to frighten him and taunt him with the possibility of his own slow demise. Even though she had left him a poison of oleander and aconite, a poison that would burn him from the inside, and had told him it was simple tincture of needle flower, a soft death-like sleep. She wanted to laugh. She did not laugh. Did not scream with joy of it, either. The sudden lightness in her chest, the savage beauty of it. Needle flower, indeed. What a fool he'd been to believe she would make it easy or half so swift. She felt a hand on her arm, lowered her own hand from her face and saw Lata touching her, watching her. There was concern in Lata's eyes, but knowing, too. What can I do for you, Empress? How can I ease your burden? Lata asked. Inform my general, Malini replied, and deal with this. 
She gestured at her brother's widow, the women around them. She could not stomach being wept at any longer. I need to be alone. Of course, Lato murmured. Malini slipped out of the room. Her body felt light and let in all at once. She did not grasp her saber again. Instead, she walked away from the women's quarters, through the ground corridors of her mahal. She walked under ceilings inlaid with glittering stones, beneath columns limed with emeralds and pearls, and over flowers embellished in traceries of gold, some bursts of liquid light. The soldiers, as she had suspected, had not been subtle when they had run to inform her of Chandra's death. They had not been subtle in the aftermath, in their search for a physician and a priest. Already the news of Chandra's demise was spreading through the mahal. The few servants she saw lowered their eyes when she passed, or bowed. The warriors she saw, her warriors, lowered their heads and touched their hearts in gestures of respect. The emperor was dead. She had won them a war. She needed no weapon. Her own tail shielded her. She walked to her throne room. Her guards bowed to her and opened the doors. Empress, they said. She stepped through the doors, heard them close behind her. Finally alone, she looked at the room where she should have burned, the room where her heart sisters had perished. The fire was burning still. Shadows and light played on the walls. The fragrance of needle flower and jasmine wafted in, honeyed, mingling with the scent of ash. She closed her eyes and let herself feel everything. Her fear of fire, her grief, her rage, her relief, the bloody, vicious weight of her own joy. She smiled, one smile so bright and fierce that she felt like her whole body was shining with it. She had done it. Finally, she had done it. She had truly won.